Hello, and welcome to Bergen Stages Television, our entertainment magazine here at Bergen Community College. I'm Jim Bumgarner, your host, and today we're beginning our 2016-2017 season with Bergen Stages. And what a better way to start it than with an A.R. Gurney comedy called What I Did Last Summer. And today we have two actors from the show, Ashley Driscoll and Logan Lamort. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Uh, hello. 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 <laughs> uh, great to have you. And, and we're going to talk a lot about uh, the show itself in a little bit, but I think I want our audience to kind of get to know who you guys are. You're new to our Bergen Stages uh, television, but not to our stage here. So I'll start. Uh, Logan, why don't you begin? Where did you come from? How did we find you? Uh, ooh, how did you find me? How did you find, uh, you well, find us? <laughs> well, I started, I guess, my collegiate career at, uh, at Rutgers University in New Jersey uh, and just found that what I was doing, a mix of like liberal arts, everything, I just didn't like very much. So uh, somehow in my time there, I realized I really like telling stories to people. Uh -huh. And I decided that I would like to give that a shot uh, in a more professional way, I guess. So I found Bergen Community College, which is funny because I'm actually from Morris County, uh -huh. but I couldn't find the acting program for CCM. So I found it here and... Which is a great speak. plug. If you come from a different uh, yeah. county that doesn't have the program you want, you can go to come the, here. To the yeah. <laughs> uh, and in high school, did you do theater? Or? I didn't. My high school didn't have a theater program, so I didn't do any theater things. Uh, middle school, I we put on a play, and I played a rooster. The rooster spoke. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, As all roosters. Yeah, yeah so no, I'm, a, I'm a newbie. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that's awesome. So we'll get into more some of the stuff you've done since you've been here. But uh, Ashley, tell us about your past. How did you get to Bergen? Um, I graduated from high school, and um, I decided I would go to Bergen to uh, study their theater program here. I heard a lot of good things about it. I would come to all the art fests every year that they have here. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, the Teen Arts Festival? The yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And, um, yeah, that's kind of how it all began. I always done theater throughout high school. Where did you go to so, high school? Westwood High School. Oh, good, good. And yeah. they've got a great program. Yeah. Oh, good. What are some of the things you did while you were at Westwood? Um, I did The Music Man. Mm -hmm. um, I did You're in Town, Little Shop of Horrors, and The Drowsy Chaperone. Oh, so, great musicals. Yeah. And that was each year, or did they do a couple of musicals? Each year. Uh -huh. They did a play and a musical, and then they did one acts. Uh -huh. Um, I did one one act, and I never really did any plays. So, my first play was um, last year, actually here at the ri um, doing the rivals with uh, the same director as um, we have now. So, uh -huh. so Tom, Tom O'Neill. Yeah. Uh, and and so, so you mean your first play, not yeah. a musical, yeah. was the first time you did it uh, while you were here at Bergen. Yeah. Cool, cool. And so, high school was the first time you felt the acting bug, or did you um, uh, did you get to play a rooster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get. It. <laughs> Um, I always did uh, theater week in uh, elementary school, but I never really started to consider it as being a career until high school. Mm -hmm. So, and here you here yeah. you are in Bergen. Good. Yeah. good. And so uh, at Bergen, Logan, what uh, I remember because I was fortunate to have you in my class in Intro to Theater. And yes. um, what other classes does an acting major take? What what gets you? Uh, what have uh, I taken? Uh, well, basic acting. Basic acting technique. And you've taken that as well, Ashley. Yeah. yeah. Basic, what, what do you do in a basic acting class? A lot of improv. Uh -huh. A lot of, uh, uh, well, I took it with uh, Mary Clifford. Um, so there's a lot of just kind of on your feet, just kind of going with it, kind of, I guess, beat by beat, uh -huh. improvisation. Uh, Good. And like just for our novice audience, they're probably going to think improv being stand-up comedy improv. But that's not what you mean, right, Ashley? No. When Logan's talking about improv. Um, basically, you can sometimes be given a scenario based on what you're assigned to do. And in the moment, you just kind of have to come up with an own scenario in your head. Mm -hmm. I guess that's how I would describe it. And you come up with your own scene and what your character's doing, like, on the spot. Uh -huh. um, and make up the lines as you go, oh, I want to cool. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just kind of be in the moment. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool, cool. And, and so how does that prepare you as an actor? Very good question. Um, <laughs> what does that do on stage for you, if uh, this improv? I think a lot of it just allows you to become more comfortable and allows you to really let yourself kind of engage with the character. Because mm -hmm. um, I think when, when you do these improvs, you just, rather than think, uh, i got to hit my mark or I have to remember my line, you, mm -hmm. just, you just become the character more. You just... And you just go. And then if you can so. incorporate that idea into memorizing yeah. the lines yeah. and the character, yeah. then you're truly in the moment of creating this wonderful character. Yeah. 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 
and, and then there's monologue work as well, or do you not do that in, in, in basic acting? Don't do that until scene study. And there's trust exercises. Don't you do oh, trust yeah. exercises? Oh, yeah. We have really strange this, so acting. What are, oh what are the gosh. trust exercises? Uh, lots of trust falls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you remember? I know it's been a while. It's been, what, a year or two since you've taken yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite one was where they sit you in... in the middle of a circle of people, and you have to just get pushed around by them. <laughs> that one was, that one was interesting. And you're interesting. trusting that they're not going to let you fall. Yeah, oh, that's kind of nice. Thing. <laughs> Didn't I remember seeing you walking around the hallways, leading people? Around? Oh yeah, um, we had this weird trust exercise. Okay. I don't remember if it was the first or second day of acting class, but um, Mary was like, "Okay, one of you are going to be leading the other. That's going to cover their eyes throughout the hall." So um, basically, you would have somebody else leading you throughout the hall while you can't see anything. Mm -hmm. um, and you would just be latched onto their arm and praying that they wouldn't lead you into a wall, into a person, or anything. Praying or trusting. That yeah. they <laughs> <laughs> the key word there is that trust exercise there. Yeah. And you were okay? Neither of you got led into Oh, uh, My partner plants. just brought me outside and left me there. That Seriously? Was, no. <laughs> <laughs> she did panic when I was leading her around, so that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. But it's fun, and it's a way to get to know the class. I mean, it's almost like you make an idiot out of yourself really early on in front of each other so that it kind of opens way for the improv a little bit later uh, that you'll do in the classes and that kind of stuff. What other stuff? I'm sorry, just kind of dwelling on that. But what other, uh, just thinking that we might have some, some acting majors out uh, watching today, what else do you take while you're here at Virgin? What we else? take uh, stagecraft and lighting. What's that? Um, you basically learn behind the scenes a little yeah. bit. You You're learn. taking that now? Yes. And yes. you took it a semester or two ago? Two semesters. Two semesters. Last year. Yeah. Okay. Um, but basically you learn about um, li um, the lighting, the sound, um, what? You're the parts of the scene. You're I know. What's up with that? Everything that isn't Parts acting. of the uh -huh. stage, uh -huh. um, what specific jobs do. And uh, I think it's You're building the set. You're working on the sets yeah. that are going up. So you're building, uh, yeah. you're actually, the class right now is building the set for your show yeah, or, or hanging the lights for your show. That's kind of yeah. cool, getting to see that set kind of come alive. And yeah, part of some that. people don't have that opportunity. They think, well, if you're an actor, that's all you're going to do. Do you think it's, how do you feel about that? You think, as an actor, I just want to go act. I don't want to worry about sets and lights. How do you, what is your? Um, I feel like, um, Every actor at some point should do a little bit of uh, backstage just to sort of get an appreciation, I guess, for what um, is done backstage. Because um, a lot goes on backstage that we sometimes don't see as actors because we're so focused on being in character and like doing the blocking right and doing our lines right that we don't realize how much work is put in backstage. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, where's my light? And realizing somebody had to hang that light, somebody had to color yeah. that light, somebody had to focus that light. All that went into it that you need to kind of appreciate. Plus, it helps you later on if you decide that you want to be a director or, or, or uh, uh, run your own theater company, that you're aware of all the things that, that, that make up that sort of thing. And then you take stage makeup class here. Doing um, that I know there's well. audition technique and a a few other things like that here. Cool. Yeah. And that preps you. Um, so uh, you've also done shows since you've been here. You talked about Rivals, Ashley. What else have you done since you've been at Berlin? Um My first show was Company. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was fun. Uh -huh. I love that show. Great cast, great music. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then my second show here, um, I assist and stage managed and um, was called The Complete Female Stage Beauty, directed by Mike LaPointe. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did two things over the summer, which was Suburbia on stage two, right. and then a fundraising show called Cabaret for a Cause, and then Rivals, and then Soundboard Operator for South Pacific, and here I am now. Which is cool. You've <laughs> done all this backstage stuff as yeah. well, so you, you're learning all those kind of things and watching actors, and I think sometimes you wa learn by watching other actors and, yeah, you do. and things you should do or shouldn't do after watching <laughs> yeah. those kind of things, so it's kind of neat it's to, to be the soundboard. Uh, great to build up that whole... Um, resume with all sorts yeah. of things like that's great. And Logan, your uh, my my your career here at Bergen so far uh, much less impressive <laughs> 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 and Early on. Uh, and grandiose. Uh, but I was you gave me my starting role in South Pacific. I did. So well, shout out cool. to Jim. Awesome. <laughs> and that was your first role ever. Other, Other than, than the rooster. The rooster? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. I had no idea. Oh yeah, we'll oh, wow. try and keep that, you know, <laughs> secretive. So, so <laughs> we'll bring back the rooster someday. Though. Yes, <laughs> oh, we will do that. Uh, but yeah, and now Ted and what I did last summer, and uh -huh, hopefully uh -huh. more this year. Cool, cool. And and um, 
I know I want to get into talking about what I did last summer in just a minute there, but I do want to talk as an actor. We have two different theaters here. We have our Proscenium Arch Theater, the bigger theater, the picture frame theater, the Saccone, and we also have our lab theater. And you have acted, both of you have acted in the Saccone Theater, and you did uh, a couple of things in, in the lab yeah. theater. And now you're, uh, of course, what I did last summer is over at Inderhall Lab Theater. What do you, f is it a benefit as a performer, do you think, trying these different spaces? I definitely yeah, think definitely. so. I definitely think so. Because some people always turn to me, why don't you just do them all in Saccone Theater? I mean, I feel like some shows you need kind of like yeah. the audience to be there, like yeah, you right need the there. Space. Mm -hmm. um, you mean as an ender? Yeah, right yeah, uh -huh. as an ender's theater. Because um, I feel like some shows are more geared to interact with the audience and uh, get the audience more engaged than some of the shows in Sakona where I have some of the flashier like sets or the flashier. I don't larger cast. Yeah, yeah larger cast. cast yeah, yeah. But I think that you stuff. might want the distance. Yeah. Is that possible? Like Company or South Pacific? Exactly. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I feel like it'd be too much for the audience. Yeah, I imagine that in the intimate space. Especially with an yeah. ensemble, you just... Overwhelming. Yeah. 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 And I think there's that big picture. I think where you're going with scenery, you want to be able to look at this big picture out there. Mm -hmm. And in, in Inder Hall, you're sometimes so close that you don't get to yeah. step back, but you don't need to because yeah. you no. want to be that intimate involved in there. Yeah. So we'll keep the two theaters is what I'm hearing. This is oh, a, yes. Still keep, a oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you're right, actually. I think you have to pick which show you're going to put in what theater because mm -hmm. some don't fit in, 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 in yeah. other spaces there. Some will go, why do they put that in this theater? It would be better in the intimate theater kind of thing. And I think it's good training. I think as an actor, um, you might not start always working in a proscenium of theater. You might a lot of our off and off off Broadway theaters are very intimate spaces, like like our Inder Hall Lab Theater. So I think probably I'll, as producers say, I think it's great training <laughs> um, for for our actors to know the different kind of the variety of spaces. Does it change you as an actor to play those? Mm, do you find you do anything different, or are you finding it yet because you haven't been in there performing in front of no, an audience no, yet? No, but, no, but 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 Ashley has. Do you find you did anything, or do anything different? Hmm, I feel. Hmm. That's that's a good question. Now that I'm trying to, think you're more about. aware of the audience. <laughs> yeah, you're more sitting there. That front row. You're more row. aware of the audience. Um, I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'm more closer with the audience. Um, you mean when as I'm a connection in, with them, or yeah, as, uh -huh. when I'm in Ender rather than Sakon. Mm -hmm. uh, I also find myself, I guess, projecting more in Ender than I do in Sakon because you don't have a need for mics or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, really. Yeah. And Logan, we'll get back to you then on that once you perform there, because you'll have that oh, audience yes. suddenly <laughs> yeah. almost in your lap. You're going to be that close to them. Oh, yeah. well, um, I plan on sitting on And it's special for this. <laughs> 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 plan on sitting on those stuff you last while you're there. Uh, and it's just future-wise. I know, that Ashley, we began talking about this. Where do you, what is, after you finish your, your, your Bergen time here, what do you plan to be doing? Um, I plan to transfer, hopefully, to a four-year college and mm -hmm. continue to study theater. Um, and to get a bachelor's degree, yeah, a to get a bachelor's uh -huh. degree, uh -huh. um, and that's that's kind of what I hope to do, and hopefully, something in theater will come along the way that I can jump to and make. So good once you finish, with. you're ready to get out there into the the world of actors and, yeah. and, audition <laughs> and like live in New York, or you think, are you a uh, film, or what are you thinking? Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of New York. Mm -hmm. You know, stages. I love the stage. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a few film things, but I like stage a bit more. And I think where I am um, in vicinity, I guess, to the city, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I don't need to move anywhere. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Logan, what do you? Uh, when are you finishing? How much time do you have? Should be next. Should be next semester. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I like to oh. just mess things up occasionally. <laughs> but <laughs> um, after I finish, uh, hopefully, I kind of go along the same path. Uh, get a bachelor's. Uh, really just kind of continue training and uh, gaining confidence and then just step into the world of rejection and abject failure. <laughs> 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 but staying in theater, in live theater, or are you thinking film as well? Or you? Uh, or, uh, I mean, ideally I'd like to touch on everything just because I like experiences and I, I would love to just see what I like best or what fits me best mm -hmm. and what, what I get most. But uh, I, I 
the idea of um, being applauded every time you go to work is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, it's so. nice. <laughs> I wish it happened everywhere. Yeah, you know, so. At the cafe latte machine and yeah, nobody's applauding me so there. Many. So yeah, yeah, totally. And I know that uh, we're going to have to take a break, but I want to get it back because you have a little military background as well. Don't, uh, uh, a yes. Stint there. So, yes. Um, so we're going to come back. We're going to talk with uh, Ashley and Logan uh, uh, a little bit more about their life uh, and then get into talking about the show you're in and where we are in the process of the show and maybe tell the audience a little bit about uh, the story, all right? So we'll be right back, so come right back with this. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him going on to fascinate millions with his talent, one in 260,000. The odds of this born racer having 157 career top 10 finishes in NASCAR, one and 125 billion. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year, one in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I'm NASCAR driver Jamie McMurray and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Hello, and welcome back to Bergen Stages Television. I'm Jim Bumgardner, your host, and today we have two wonderful actors with us, Ashley Driscoll and Logan Lamort, uh, talking about the show What I Did Last Summer, which is our next production here at Bergen Community College. Um, before the break, I just kind of snuck it in there with Logan about a uh, little thing about your past was that you were in the military. Yes, uh, I currently am. I'm in the Army Reserves. Uh, I have been since I was 17. That's actually what I did right out of high school, uh -huh. uh, like a month after graduating. Uh, so look forward to continuing that. And you did that before you went to Rutgers? You, 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 yes, you, you, yes. You, you enlisted. And you don't have to serve. Is this the weekend kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Month? It's you do a, the weekend? Yeah, one weekend a month, a couple weeks in the summer. But you uh, haven't been deployed. True. There's nothing like... No, no deployments yet. Uh -huh, so good. i got about a year left. So. Uh -huh. to, to be in the Reserves or... Uh, yeah, and on my contract. Oh, cool, so. cool, cool. And it, did that give you any benefits uh, uh, to being in school? Is there any? Yeah, there's some educational benefits. Oh, uh, you know, a certain amount of tuition paid and. Oh, great! And all I, that fun I didn't stuff. realize that. So that that's very helpful. And will that continue on to a four-year school? Yes. Oh, yes. nice. Yeah, so Good. I've got that going. Was that an over a reason to do it, or you just wanted to kind of get involved in the military? Uh, I just kind of didn't know what I wanted to do right out of high school. Uh -huh. So. Uh, so that gave you focus. Yeah. Uh -huh. Gave me it gave me some time to think about what I did while not like just kind of wasting time, still having something going on. And so. not fully committing to serving. Yeah. 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 So, so like just kind of testing the water, as yeah. it were. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Dipping my toes in. Good. So. Good. But what a great experience. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, Ashley. Do I meant to get back to uh, the show itself? But so right now we're doing the A.R. Gurney, uh, a play called What I Did Last Summer, a comedy. Um, and A.R. Gurney's a funny writer. We did uh, the dining room here uh, in the. Uh, mm. uh, 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 a year and a half ago uh, with our theater production workshop class, which is an A.R. Gurney uh, show, which is funny. He's just a, 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 a funny kind of writer, uh, and I want to talk about specific because he does some great stuff in this particular show. But let's talk about the show itself. Can you tell us what the play is about? What is the story? If you guys can help Would you like to tell take it that along. Um. I'll fill in too, wherever you are. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of a memory play. It's yeah. sort of it's a, a memory play. Coming of age play. Charlie, yeah. Charlie, slice coming of, of age. A slice it. of life. A slice of life. Set what year? When is it? 1945. 1945. 1945. Uh, where? Where are we? Where is the, uh, um, the shore Lake of Lake Erie? In Canada. Uh -huh. yeah. The Canada uh, side of Lake Erie. The Canada side. Of Lake Erie. Uh, and it's just kind of the resort home. It's not. This is your home, right? You're with yeah. your mom. Yeah. Uh, and Charlie is your brother. Charlie's yeah. kind of the main character that we've... Yeah. Not that you need to... <laughs> <laughs> you, your characters don't believe that, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, but he is, it's the main character, kind of his coming of age story, but yeah. also he affects all your lives as well, and the story itself affects all of your life. And so there, there, he, you, your family has spent every summer there, and your father is 
serving in the yes, military. Yes, he's serving in the military. Um, my, it's basically my mother and my brother. And um, it's kind of like, I feel like we're all trying to find ourselves in this weird time without our father. Um, I know my character, Elsie, um, misses her father terribly. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, I don't even know, maybe the most out of the family, she uh -huh. misses her father. So At a time in her life, at the yeah. age that you really kind of want to have your dad there to yeah. bounce things off of some ideas. And I feel like, like 19 so. is an awkward mm -hmm. age. Um, you kind of, you think you're going somewhere in life, but you want that extra reinsurance yeah, that yeah, yeah. you're doing the right thing. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. And, uh, and Charlie's your brother, and yes. you have a mom, and you're there. And yes. then how does your character's Ted? Ted, yes. Ted, Ted the Canadian. Ted? <laughs> Ted the Canadian, eh? Ted the Canadian kid. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm uh, Charlie's best friend. Um, we've, we've been friends for, you know, since he's been coming up to the summer homes. Uh, but I am, I'm less well off than all these American kids, because these are clearly their summer homes. Or and this, you're, you're, you're a resident. That, yeah, you're I there live, year round. You yeah, live there. And uh -huh. just take care of their homes. Uh -huh. So uh, the play comes at a very like interesting point for me where like I'm kind of going through changes that every boy goes through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ted and, uh, grows up. Ted. <laughs> yeah. And there's a little bit of like competition, like that kind of changing dynamic between Ted and Charlie where there's, mm -hmm. uh, there becomes more competition and there's more. With a girl involved. With they a, have girl. A, a girl that they both. Yes, with both, Bonnie. With Bonnie that they both like. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's, um, you know, everyone is just, I think everyone in the play is like transitioning and kind of trying to figure a lot of things out. Uh -huh. Um Transitioning, I like that. That's kind of what it is. Even though you live there, you're finding out more about your your world and also yeah. your relationship with these guys because they're getting older and they're going to go off to prep schools or colleges or something yeah. like that. And and Ted's trying to figure out how he fits in the scheme of things. Yeah. I think that when you were younger, those things didn't matter. The younger they were as kids, you just did kid things and it didn't yeah. matter uh, social economically uh, what they did. But you work, right? You have a job. <clears throat> yes. Yes. I. Yeah, I like mow lawns or something. Homes, watch cars. Yeah, 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 I thought yeah. you did something. Mow lawns. Else. I'm Took in care charge of the people's of lawns. houses. Yeah, that yeah. aren't there. Which is thing. kind of another like yeah. weird relationship where it's I essentially work for these people but are friends with them, so it's kind of a strange. Which when you were younger it didn't matter, but now that you're yeah. older you feel that yeah. difference and realize. That now it's kind that. of like a, a level of inferiority almost uh -huh. uh, on my part. Do you guys interact much? Your characters? No, no I don't we think don't we have interact. One scene at and I was just sitting, <laughs> yeah, I was sitting here thinking that. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we don't interact at <laughs> you all. You see them go by. Right. Oh, there yeah. they went. <laughs> uh, Elsie just kind of stays inside most of the time, is what I find. She kind of keeps to herself and is always reading her book. Mm -hmm. um, her she form of escapism. Her yeah, family. all her friends are um, away. They're not by where she is. So she's really kind of just alone in this whole thing, just her her mother her and her brother. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. Kind of like, oh, we're stuck at the summer house all yeah. summer. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. is this the last year they're at the summer house? Is this kind of, was this the last year they go? Do we even know that? I don't. Do I they'll remember? probably come back. I know. Uh, well, for you, spoilers, it's. I don't yeah, for yeah. me, it is. I. It's your last summer at the. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it'll be my yeah. last. So that's a big thing about your characters coming to to terms with that. Yeah. 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 So it. there's this there's there's like yeah, that's underlying that like. I may never see these people again, um, and then there's a lot of that actually. You guys there's might a lot never of see that. your father again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of that, that. <laughs> which is part of growing up that you don't think about those things as a child, but as you get older, you realize these things are monumental. Um, and again, the story wraps mostly around your brother Charlie, your best friend Charlie, yes. and Anna, who is lovely called the, the pig, the pig woman. woman. And why is she called the pig woman? Uh, her her house used to be a pigsty. Mm -hmm. um, it's a converted pigsty, so everyone called yeah. her the pig woman. And she's kind of the outcast. Yes. A, yes. Very artistic. She was, you know, kind of bohemian. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. a Navajo hippie almost. Yeah. yeah. Navajo <laughs> hippie. Right, Navajo hippie. <laughs> and so in the town, she just is stuck outside in her little yeah, encampment. Like, but Charlie befriends, or they befriend each other, and she's kind of, a catalyst for him to, to make this discovery. Yeah. And kind of makes your mom kind of angry. Yeah. Kind of it kind of drives it. my mother a and little crazy. And they knew crazy. each other. <laughs> they, they grew up yes, with each other. Yes, yes, they did. Your mother knew did. Diana they uh, did. growing up. And they what, you have eyes. What is it? <laughs> it wasn't no, good? They, <laughs> no, it was, 
it was good, but I think it just adds to this whole thing that now he is going to, to her Anna. and not to his mother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, and how do you like A.R. Gurney's writing? I, I just love the way he writes characters. How do you? It's one of those things where like you really have to see it or like be it because like you read it and you're like, oh yeah, this is this is nice. But as soon as you start like reading it and getting into it, you're like, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. like, and I feel that way. Um, I fortunately saw it done at Signature Theater about two years ago, and that's when I fell in love with the script that I brought it to the <laughs> a play selection committee. I said, "Guys, this is really <laughs> well. Thank you. A great <laughs> it's just a great story on top of uh, a great opportunity for, for for actors to play because they're they're, they're nice young characters. Um, but he writes in an interesting way. He creates. Um, Explain to us, uh, Logan. I think you remember what a fourth wall is in the theater. What is the oh, fourth yeah. wall? Oh, yeah. Well, that's the that's the imaginary wall that like encloses every scene and separates the audience from from the actors. But um, like each character has uh, has a monologue where where you just completely shatter that. You break and, that fourth wall. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And just like it's they're real like heart to hearts essentially with the audience mm -hmm. to like, and that's I think that's really where you connect with them and you you find like that. There may be someone in the audience who's feeling that exact same thing that mm -hmm. like you're you're conveying to them. And this I think that's little cool. monologue to the audience. It's yeah. kind of cool, um, and it's a very special moment between each. I think all, every character has an opportunity. Except yeah. Anna, which yeah, oh Anna doesn't. Yeah, which, hmm, that's interesting. Yes, yeah. You can wonder why. I'll yeah, show uh, you what that might be. So <laughs> so you you'll stop the play, stop the action, and basically open the wall up and have a conversation with the audience for. A, a minute or so, a couple yeah. of minutes maybe, and then go right back into the play. Uh, and it's different than an aside. In a play and an aside, and like the old, that you kind of sneak to the audience and say, oh, isn't she pretty? And then go back into the action there. This yeah. is stopping and having a real conversation. Mm -hmm. It's essentially hitting the pause button. Yeah. It is. What does that everything. feel like? I mean, as a character, because you're still the character, you're not the actor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it helps because we see so much of Charlie and what Charlie's going through. Mm -hmm. I think it really helps our characters to see what our characters are going through and what our characters are feeling as well um, that you might not see throughout the whole play if we didn't have those breaking up the fourth walls. Right, yeah. Um, oh, true. Yeah. And it makes you understand, I think, each character a little bit better and maybe feel a personal connection with each character. And that you could have, like we said, it's kind of a memory play from Charlie's point of view, but it also tells us you have a memory in all this yeah. too. You remember what happened that summer uh, and why it was so so important to you. So now, in, uh, sorry, you were going to say something? Like oh, I just I think it's very interesting uh, the treatment that each character gets. I think, and uh, as you're saying, like in a lot of plays, you know, side characters are just side characters, and they they just end. You know, they mm -hmm. have no like arc, and there's nothing like that. But that's with all this. I, that's what I love about A.R. <laughs> Gurney. So, so we're heading towards, we're in rehearsal process and heading towards opening night. The show opens on October 28th, so not too far from here. No. Uh, so you're going to get into the <laughs> final rehearsals, the dress rehearsals, October 28th. It's over in the Inder Hall Lab Theater. We have Tom O'Neill directing it, Marie Natale doing costume designs, uh, Dean Matson's doing our sound, Chris B. Palacio is doing um, uh, your, your prop coordinating, and Aaron Ingersoll uh, is doing the set, so, and Graham Fry is doing light. So we have a great team coming together and at this point building everything and making it happen so uh so we're getting ready for opening night i'm so excited <laughs> about seeing this show and and seeing you guys up there uh so thank you guys uh for being a part of the show today i think it's just so so wonderful to have you uh, uh and hearing your story but also break a leg with the with the production i know it's going to be terrific <laughs> thank so thank so you. uh thanks for being a part of the show and thank you for watching our show today uh this is uh bergen stages uh here at bergen community college uh, it's what I did last summer. It's the A.R. Gurney play. It's a wonderful comedy that we'll be doing in the Inder Hall Lab Theater, our wonderful intimate space. And again, I want to thank uh, Logan Lamort and Ashley Driscoll for being a part of the show. And again, break a leg and we'll see you opening night. And hopefully we'll see you guys opening night too. Thanks again. <laughs>